Morning, everyone. Woo, look who's back from camp. It's the Magnificent Miles, the Miles Graham. Sunday, we... Oh, what is that about? Are you just waking up? Come on, buddy. It's time to get rocking and rolling. What? What do you think of the NBA final last night? Um... You seem so tired. Um, <laughs> I think the Suns had a Let's chance hear. to win, and they messed it up. <laughs> Very good. Let's see who wants to join us here. Who's on here? Let's see here. Let's see this guy. Good morning, Lori. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Miles Graham Sundays when me and Miles get to hang out. I'll answer questions. He'll answer questions. Everybody on here. Let's uh, get up there. Oh, there we go. What's going on, man? You got a question for us? Just want to say hi. Give us a wave. Peace. Thumbs up. Oh, yeah. Whoop, whoop. All right. Hey, down, Miles. Time to wake up. See, everyone wants you to wake up, Miles. All right. Let's get the questions rolling in here. I think we got some coming up here. What's this one say, Miles? Uh, how many miles can you run? <laughs> what did it say? Read it. I said miles. How many how miles? miles can miles run? Uh, zero. <laughs> zero? Just kidding. I don't <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Should we try it out today? Like, I can run, like, I think five. five to seven. Five to seven. That's good. All right. All these people want to come live with us. Here, let's go live with Lori. She's hilarious. Here we go. Somebody pin up my address. Anybody want anything? David at dmelter.com. You need help? Hey. Oh, oh what's up? Hello. <laughs> good hi. morning. I can't uh, even believe it. Hey, how are you doing, buddy? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. You are just such a rock star. I just wanted to let you know that. I don't really have a question for you. Thank you. you. <laughs> no question. Oh, you're very you. well. Uh, yeah, good, good, good point. Good point. I'm on. I didn't. I didn't see. I get nervous. So, <laughs> Miles, you are far better than I because I get nervous. Are you nervous? Uh, now? No, no, really. Not really. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Because yeah, because you are. You're fantastic. Wow. So, uh, yeah. So, no, I didn't. I didn't expect to be this quick. I was going to think about it. Oh, that's so. all right. We see, look at Pooh Bear in the corner there. With the glasses on. Well, because, says, because, I mean, because the sun is so, it, it's, it's nice when the sun is out. Yeah. So that uh, means, give, me one, give me a question, Laura. You got to think of something. Uh, okay. I love you. You're so fantastic. Uh, you're right. Uh, so when you talk about practicing, what are some of your key tips? So the hardest part about practicing is practicing itself. See, uh, as human beings, we get in our own way because it's so difficult to do something every day. And even if we pick the easiest thing and most powerful thing to do every day, which believe it or not, is to say thank you. So if you take, you know, literally try to say thank you before you go to bed, not even list out what you're thankful for and just say thank you when you wake up. Most people, most people will be amazed how difficult it is. In fact, most people can't do it for 30 straight days, even though I'll do this. I guarantee to anyone that can say thank you before they go to bed and when they wake up for 30 straight days that your life will change for the better. Guaranteed. It takes 0.1 seconds. Uh, and my quest is to figure out why it's so hard to practice. So when I talk about practicing anything, even the most powerful, easiest, freest uh, things that take 0.1 seconds, my quest is to figure out why is it so difficult? And I wanna just admit to everybody that hasn't heard me before, you know, it took me nine months to say thank you before I went to bed and when I woke up for 30 straight days. Do you think you can do that? What? Say thank you before you go to bed and when you wake up? Yeah. For 30 straight days? Yeah. All right. Put a thumbs up. Put a thumbs up if you think you can do that in there. I do this um, because I have a post-it that says be thankful for today and hopeful for tomorrow. Is that aligned with, is that aligned with what you're talking about? See, when, when, when you practice, when you utilize the company, continuum when you're able to practice something you're allowing life uh to 
to expand upon itself, right? So, you know, part of our objective is life is longing for itself. Uh, and that means it's expansive and it's growing. And when we can allow life to long for itself, to allow, see, children themselves don't, they're not for me, he's through me, right? This is example of life longing for itself. Uh, and then when we allow that, we allow it through practice and it's so difficult uh, to do. Let me pin up. Uh, he's so fantastic. Wants he's... These pra <laughs> I wants love these my pra Miles is like, he's like, I'm so over this dad. I'm just so over it. <laughs> I'm so over it. He is such, he is like the biggest rock star. Well, I mean, I love Mia as well. I mean, I love yeah, all who of doesn't them. Love the Mia. M &Ms, love the Mia. M &Ms, the M&Ms. The M&Ms. Yeah, they're badass. I mean, oh, no shit. I mean, excuse <laughs> me. Sorry. Uh, That's all right. It, 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 His mom melts, says that the all the time. Okay, so, okay. All right. all right, my sweetheart. We'll see you all right. tomorrow. All right. Love you. Yes. Love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Miles. Say bye, Lori. Bye, Lori. Bye. <laughs> all right. Cool. All right. Let's take some questions. They loaded up in there. Go ahead. Okay. Oh, Tell everyone it's Miles Graham Sunday. I'm going to take some questions here. There's lots of them in there. Go ahead. Hit it, run. All right. What does it say? Who would you rather be? And who would you rather? Would you rather be a MLB pitcher or a career backup QB? Well, first of all, I wouldn't even get a backup job as a QB. I'll probably be like 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, so uh, that's not going to go well. 6'2". Yeah. And Look at that hair. You'll be 6'2". You got extra oh, the hair. Oh, the hair will do anything. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think so I would rather be an MLB pitcher. And yeah. Because no way I'd be a career backup. I'd be like a career fifth, like sec, like tenth string. Yeah, I'd rather be a starter too. All right, let's take this here. Ask, go ahead, and grab another question. It's Miles Graham Sunday. We're here every Sundays, Father Sunday on Sunday, Miles Graham Sunday. We're answering questions from everyone. He's checking them out. Oh, there's a good one. What does that say? What is your predictions for the Padres for the rest of the season? I think we're on fire right now. Well, actually, I missed it because I was at camp. But last time I checked, we were on fire. <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> yeah, we're on fire. We're going into the All-Star game. Who's going to win the home run no. derby? Dan. What? It already happened. Who won? Oh, Pete Alonso. Oh, you did? Yeah. You were at camp. I lost track of things. <laughs> what? You did? You're the I, I was supposed to be the one who lost it. I, at least I had a newspaper. I was, I was filming my TV show, Office Hours. Are you going to watch it? No? What's office? Oh, yeah, that. <laughs> All right, get another question. Come on. Okay, so I think the Padres will lose 20 games for the rest of the season. And we're going to win the World Series? They're not 20 games. I think we'll lose 20 to 40 games. Okay, how about this question? Would you? No, no, yeah, 20. Would you ever consider buying the Dodgers if you were given the opportunity? I mean, that would be a good and um, that would be a good buying the part of them because they win a lot. No, let me tell you what's going to happen. Okay. Miles is going to marry. He's going to marry Spanos' no, no. granddaughter. They're going to sell the we're gonna team. Own the, we're going to own the Chargers. No, we're going to move them Spanos to San Diego. So we get all their money. And then... <laughs> no, no. We're going to move them to San Diego. Then Miles is going to buy the Dodgers, and we're going to dissolve them. So nobody ever has to watch them again. Oh, well, actually. That's how rich you're going to be. You're going to buy the Dodgers just to dissolve them. Uh, or, or, or I can um, put my money with the Dodgers and win a good million dollars. Oh, uh, a billion? A million to a billion. <laughs> I think you should be rich enough just to dissolve them. Get them off the planet. What? Yeah. No? <laughs> All right, let's see who else wants to go live with us. Uh, let's see. So many people. Uh, there's so many people there. Not happening, Jesus said. Jesus went and partied at Cascade last night. Woo, woo, woo. You an EMC guy? Hello? Oh, boy. What's going on, man? Hello? Hello. Usi, Usi, my lady. Luis, Luis. Luis, how are you? We just want to say hi. Thank you for joining us, my friend. We love you. Take care, Mr. Carmichael. Guadillo Carmichael from around the world. All right, let's get another question going. I love that last question, by the way. Here we go. What are some tips you would give to a teenager, Dad? Well, you give some, then no, I'll give some. No, because I've never been a teenager, Dad. Oh, that's so smart. Mm -hmm. I told my brother that when he tried to give me marriage counseling. I'm like, you've never even been with a girl or been married. How are you going to give me marriage counseling? <laughs> uh, all right. Um, 
let's see here. Uh, what advice would I give? Oh, I know. Ask for help. Uh, be kind to your future self. Do good deeds and ask for help. Ask for help from people who sit in the situation you want to be in. Go ahead and find those directions by people who are sitting in the situation that you want to be in. It's the fastest way to get to where you want. Most teenagers are afraid to ask for help, and most people are more than willing to help them. And it's a interference, a void that should be resolved as easy. Oh, David, you look tired. Why? I look tired. It's him. I'm not I tired, mean, you man. Kind of, you know you look tired. You just don't act tired. I look tired. Is it because there's so much activity? <laughs> I, I don't think so I So much look activity tired. last week. I was burning the candle at both ends. Plus, I just ran and uh, worked out and then got on this <laughs> And you want to know what I do? I woke up at four. What? I swan. <laughs> Your children come through you, not for you. Uh, my dad say hi. Your son, 94 years old, Max. Oh, his dad says hi to you, Miles. His dad's 94 years old. What's going on? Happy, healthy, wealthy, worthy. Good uh, to see you, everybody. All right. Hey, Zeus is still here. Let's ask another question. Uh, getting it rocking and rolling here. Mustafa, what does he say? Um, the whole world has been wait, wait. the whole world has been badly t um, told about, told Iran. about Iran. All the officials of the world are looking for the D. <laughs> it's the T they're looking for, not the D. Uh, look, I look to unite the world, and uh, I find the light, the love, and the lessons, and everything. And let's together, whether you're in Iran, Japan, here in the United States, Dad, let's all find the light, the love, and the lessons to help one another. Is that what you're going to do? Yeah. You're gonna unite the I, world. I think. I think. Maybe a world thought leader. I don't know. <laughs> Would you rather be a starting pitcher or a world thought leader? Which makes more money? World thought leader. Well, which is more fun? World thought leader. What do you do? Which has more impact. You inspire people world to thought. be good. Oh, okay. I you to be a world to be thought. People. You want to teach people to be happy like okay, I do? Yeah, I'll do, I'll do what you do. All right. He'll do what I do. And that's what we'll do. All right? All right, you pick the book. Go ahead. There's lots of questions there. Sons in seven, yes. Sons are What's the score going to be? It's going to be 123 to 115. What do you have to say to Jake and Liv? Um, hi. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Jake and Liv. Sons in seven. You hit it here first on the Miles Graham. It's Sunday, Miles Graham. Email me, david at dmelter.com if you want the five daily. Sons or bucks, sons. In seven. What's the score again? 123 to 115. Oh, 123 to 115. Let's see what this question says. When you, when when you went bankrupt, how well did Will? Luckily, did you bounce back? <laughs> well, that <laughs> was not luck. I didn't say luck. It said Wookly. 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 Oh, look! When I went bankrupt, bankrupt, right. it was a lesson, <laughs> right? Pain is a propeller. It propels you to what you want. It doesn't stop you. It's a turn signal, uh, getting you to a better place, a better situation. And so, oh, it wasn't I, luck. It was it was quickly. Quickly. Oh, right. Yeah. See how smart you are. Uh, I bounced back in two weeks, uh, and that's because I got laser focused, and I asked for help. And uh, I um, first time around when I got law school was nine months before I was a millionaire. It was a few weeks before I was back to being a millionaire after bankruptcy by asking for help, finding the fastest way to get to where I wanted to be, knowing what I wanted, asking for help, and uh, being efficient, effective, and statistically successful, but maintaining that wealth, building that wealth. And here I am now. Wow, 13 years later, uh, after bankruptcy, 15 years later, after my quantum transformation, and uh, never been happier, healthier, wealthier, or worthier within the context of myself. I give meaning to everything I see, and so does my man, Miles. All right, read this one. It's a long one. Oh, God. I, I, what? What's up, what's up, David? I'm Miles. Questions for both of you. David, what stands out for out to you, a businessman, for a music artist and producer miles um like miles what makes you come back to your favorite artist i don't really have a favorite artist, but... what makes you come back to listen or watch somebody on the internet oh oh um they they post um like frequently or like often yep like like almost daily most of the so time you gotta have a lot post a lot right yeah and um, Look at they, the camera. They um, 
make good contact content um and well um let's see so you make good t content and i and have post I'm consistently post for me it wait, stands wait, out wait, wait. and you have to you have to um um make new ideas a lot you can't just be you, yeah and you can't so new content more content but you have to content. you have to keep it in the same stuff because you can't just be posting different content that won't go out anywhere like if you did gaming content you have to keep doing gaming content maybe sometimes like every once in a while you can do like a vlog or whatever good advice man what stands out to me as a businessman for a music artist uh two is the frequent for me the frequency so like the dirty heads when they're talking about vacation and occupation, uh, you know, John Lennon, uh, of course, Bob Marley, uh, all types of genres of music. It's the frequency of that music that stands out to me, that makes me feel good, inspires me. And the music that inspires me is music that inspires the artist, that he's enthusiastic, that God has come through him in appreciation, that his genius is the expression of God, just like anyone else in any other industry we allow life that's longing for itself to come through us with appreciation to add value gratitude forgiveness accountability and inspiration uh -huh. miles where can people reach out if they want my five daily practices or my ebook audio book i will send i'll sign a copy send it to anyone out there i'll pay for shipping where should they go ahead and you find can me? email david at 949 oh no david at, <laughs> <laughs> at com or call Call, text David at 949-298-2905. You did have your eyes closed? No. No? That's impressive. <laughs> it is Miles Graham Sunday. We're rocking and rolling every time. Let's take one more question, Miles, and then let's go carpe diem our but Sunday. But I do have that number memorized. What is it? 949-298-2905. All right, pick your question. Last question on Miles Graham Sunday. You can reach me, David, at dmeltzer.com. David at dmeltzer.com. I'll give you my book, ebook, audio book. I'll pay for it all. I'll send it to you, pay for the book and shipping. Go ahead, Miles. What's the last question? Um, how many lifetimes has your son lived, Dad? Oh, you're an old soul. That's the question you wanted to answer? Yeah. How many think you've lived? Look at the camera. Ah! How many do you think you live? Uh, I don't know, like, like 400. 400? <laughs> no, yeah. That's it? What? I think he's an old soul. I think he's lived about... I'm into the millions, probably four million lifetimes. What? what that, Look, you're given a body. You're here to learn lessons. The lessons that you learn keep on coming. Pain is an indicator that you have a lesson to learn, and you have learned so many lessons. But how do you learn more lessons lesson if you live four million lives? Because it's quantum in your nature. It comes within the context of your DNA. You're a lucky lottery ticket. You know, everyone out there, you wouldn't be on Earth if you weren't into the trillions to one. You know, yeah, you have one to trillion odds of being, of being living, born. Of being living. Exactly, and you've done it like four million times. The odds are extraordinary, abundant. And well, but if you think about it, there's like, there's like probably quad trillion um no, no, no like deck um million um souls yeah so it's not it's not it's not, souls. it's not that hard <laughs> it is though because they're so it's statistically see the problem is we've limited ourselves by our math by the man-made constructs of time and space that are only limiting between what we truly are and you're given a body to learn this these are the lessons that we learn of the limits that the body puts on the extraordinary uh abundance that we're given what are you going to say to everyone? Where can they find me on Miles Graham Sunday? What is it? Tell them again. Make it loud. Make it clear. Let's get some energy going. Uh, wait. Where can they find you? Yeah. Oh, you can email David at david at dmelzer dot com or text David at nine four nine two nine eight two nine zero five. You should really just like get the that david away from that david. i know i keep telling matt to do that but he does not listen he's longing for life itself <laughs> abundance is my policy that's what i'm talking about these are quotes for matt to go ahead and post on my twitter anyway what is our favorite saying to leave people with here on miles graham and every day on ig live monday ask me anything mondays 8 a.m and 3 p.m on clubhouse we got a full load of stuff this week all you gotta do is reach out david at dmelter.com what do we leave people with? Tell them. Be kind to your future self and do good deeds. Be Peace. kind to your future self and whoa. <laughs> do good deeds. Be kind to your future self. Do good deeds. We'll see you Monday. Have a great weekend.